So we talked about that scientific notation is a quick way to write really, really big or really, really small numbers, right? Um, and we talked about if your power is positive, that means that you had a really big number because the decimal place would be moved to the right. If your power is negative, that means you had a really, really small number and your power and your decimal will be moved to the left, right? All right, so we stopped. We talked about multiplying, which means you uh, reassociate and combine through multiplication and addition for the exponents. We went over that one and we stopped here, right? Division. All right. All right. So we're on dividing with scientific notation. When you're dividing with scientific notation, you need to remember that when you divide exponents, you are subtracting. Right? When you're dividing exponents, you subtract. So you're still separating. So I have four. And six tenths divided by two times 10 to the negative one divided by 10 to the two. The reason why you're able to separate is that if you think about this, each one of these is own individual number just been combined through multiplication. So four and six tenths divided by two, it's gonna give me two and three tenths, agreed? For this one, I have 10 to the negative one minus two. So 10 to the negative one minus two is what? 10 to the negative three. So we have two times two and three tenths times 10 to the negative three as our final scientific notation. How do you feel about dividing scientific notation? Good, doable? All right. All right, so we're gonna stop here and that was the second part of scientific notation.